Now, this was the first storm since Casey's city manager made some changes to snow removal in hopes of doing better. KCTV5's Betsy Webster asked residents whether they noticed a difference. She joins us live now from Waldo. Betsy, what's the consensus? Well, it varied by where we went, but I'll show you what we have behind us. And this is actually similar to a lot of what we saw, even in places where it looked like there was, well, where there is still snow in the roadway. All you have to do is look over to the curb to know that, yes, indeed, this road has clearly been plowed. This is Nicholas Cossie's first snow since moving to KC from St. Joe. Me and my cats. So he can't compare as much as assess the status of his Waldo side street. Not too shabby. You know, um, there's definitely not going to be any wrecks on this from looking at it. Further north in the Volcker area. 42nd and Terrace. People who've been through previous storms were satisfied, but not impressed. I haven't noticed much of a difference yet from the last few snowstorms. I think they're pretty much the same as they always are, like drivable but like could be a little bit better but really not that bad. Head east to Ivanhoe, 40th and Highland or 40th and Wayne, you'll find people describing a site heretofore unseen. Looks a lot better than it has in years past. Uh, you can see the street now. <laughs> of course I've got some more work to do but I mean I've seen a lot worse where I've, I've slipped and slide all the way through the city um, so I think them canceling the trash service made sense. What Michael Ferguson is talking about is part of the city manager's new approach announced on January 5th to put trash removal on hold, in this case for the rest of the week, to assign all available solid waste and water department staff to snow operations. To be able to drive around the city to get to where I need to, then yeah, I mean, I can wait till next trash day. <laughs> Late this afternoon, the mayor tweeted, quote, I'm hearing good news on snow removal throughout Kansas City thanks to our updated plan and work efforts. We have much, much more work to do, but I am proud of our crews and workforce. I think they're doing a pretty good job. I've been seeing them out playing all day, so it's pretty, they're doing a pretty good job. All right, would you have said that last year? Probably not. <laughs> So generally uh, a positive response, by the way, uh, it is a positive story. So these are not tears from sadness. They're tears from the immense cold. Uh, when that trash pickup uh, resumes next week, you'll be able to take out twice as many bags. That's four per household. And I want to also tell you that we got a feel for the road conditions throughout the city. Really not a lot of problems, just maybe some of those hard stops, hard starts, and having to take some wider turns where some of what they plowed has accumulated. But overall, I'm going to copy the phrase of our new arrival we introduced you two from St. Joseph and say, not too shabby. <laughs> reporting live in Kansas City, Missouri, Betsy Webster, KCTV 5 News. As always, we appreciate your reporting. Get inside and warm up, Betsy. Thank you.